What's up, heroes? My name is Silo Clone, and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic to the Sith Lords and the Adventures of Aswad Dick. So last time, we took out Goto's yacht, we met Master Kez Zael, and he taught us a new lightsaber form. Let's take a look at it. The Xi'an form here. It's good against blaster deflection and bad against single uh, targets. But, you know, let's let's take a further look here at, uh, at the feat itself. Or is it feats or is it uh, powers that it's under? It's under powers. Don't ask me why. I don't know. So the Xian, Xian form. The preservance form, also known as the Xian form or form 5, is an aggressive form that does not sacrifice protection from blaster fire. It is most effective when facing blaster-wielding opponents or when outnumbered and at least effective against a single foe. Using this form has the following effects. Increase to my damage. Uh, defense to current target is lower, but I have a plus two blaster bolt. My critical multiplier is by one. Okay. So, wait. What's this note here? Note that improvements to attack modifier also aid in blaster bolt deflection. So, this form has a net blaster bolt deflection of plus four. But lately, we've been running the force channel. So that gives me a 50% increase at non-combat. My force power damage is plus three. Then there's saves. So we have these other forms, but we'll we'll take a look at those a little later as we see to. So we'll we'll try this out for the time being. I've mostly been sticking to force channel because, well, one, we're using a lot of force points. And actually, I just realized I need my team back. So I need uh we'll go with this is and Well one I'm gonna go with Atten right away. Why? Because Atten has my uh, stealth field generator, and I want that. Now I can go back, and I'm going to put on Hanhar. He's just my my fun little Wookiee buddy. My Actually, life is yours. It didn't do it. Okay. I forgot to deselect Atten. So we still have a level up, so we're going to level up Hanhar here. Going to put some points into demolitions and treat injury. That sounds... Good enough for me. And we get one more. We'll do treat injury and demolitions. I don't think we need to go any further on his awareness. His awareness is pretty high to begin with. So we'll keep those other ones. Feats. I'm going to actually do the feat that I've said I'm going to be doing. While I'd like to do improved dual strike, I need to do regenerate vitality points. Because he's got a lot of health and I'd like to be able to, have, be able to heal him up without having to worry about anything else. So let's give him this this inertial inhibitor. Give him a better dexterity. He needs an energy shield because he doesn't have one. Then all of our energy shields look okay. Hers has uh, three uses. Mine has five. So we are pretty good, I would think, here. Actually, before we go all too far, I'm actually going to put the stealth field generator on... This is, and I'm going to lead with her because I know there is one of these around where there are a couple of guys talking that won't talk because I'm sitting there staring at them. And from what I remember during my first playthrough of this, with that, to get those two guys to talk, you want to have a stealth field generator on. So I believe they're in the other one, so I'll put on stealth be in solo mode so when I go through this door step a little closer through that threshold that's right here they should engage in combat that I wouldn't no or not combat in discussion that I wouldn't normally hear don't mind the flickering thing in the bottom so we're talking about Boga here getting into his treasure chamber though that sounds like an interesting place to be these guys actually have some useful information, it seems. So it looks like to get to his treasure chamber, you have to put Boga and his cath hounds to sleep. Mara 
Okay. So we got to get a dancer to Voga and some Juma juice for his calf hounds. Something to keep in mind a little later. Yeah, hunts get tired just watching people do anything. All right, so we got a little bit of experience off of that. So we'll turn on back. Turn this off. Have her run on back to the group here. Turn back off solo mode. Put her back on that Jalje belt. And we'll go about our merry business then. So we've got a bunch of quests to turn on in. Plus we need to check out the Pazak then. And, oh, hello. Observation. Targets acquired. So we got to go through these guys. Turn in some quests to Voga. And then just turn in a bunch of other quests. Try to get a little bit more. Play a little Pazak today. See how the luck is going to be in our favor. And we'll we'll go from there. Actually, then, if we're going to go to the Pazak, then I'll probably just need Atten. So we're going to try out this new form here while I proceed to Force Lightning everything. And Hanhar, my man, just look pretty. Okay. So we took a little bit of damage. Not a whole, whole lot, though, but that's okay. All right, so right away, then, since I know I'm going to go play some Pazak in just a little bit, I'm actually going to take off Hanhar. I don't know why I'm sitting in here. And I'm going to trade him out for Atten. Apparently, I'm still in combat. Okay, maybe not anymore. There we go. All right, so we've got Atten back. Let's go ahead and get him all leveled up. Looks like we only have a couple levels to go. So skills with him. Demolitions... Secu security and oh, we got two you know keep putting him in awareness and stealth why not he doesn't really have much more to do okay then for him I'm going to put finesse melee weapons on right away because during our fight against the twin sons that was a bad thing that just kind of hurt us blasters aren't bad but melee weapons do a bit more damage so I put that on because he has a very high dexterity rating next level up uh, same with all of his skills. Keeping those core ones that he's been using. Again, with this one as well. And he is all up to date. He'll get to see us a little bit. So we'll switch out... Uh, switch him out for a different weapon of sorts. Don't want to necessarily go with a Vibro Double Blade. Because he doesn't have two-handed weapons yet. But it doesn't look like I have all too much. I guess we could probably use... Nah. We could see about using that one, but his strength isn't that good. That would be good, better on Hanhar. I think I might just use a, a vibro cutter here. We'll still have one that he's got a we uh, actual weapon with. Then I'll probably put on his uh, cardio regulator. No, with him we'll put back up. Yeah, we'll put on the cardio regulator. See how that goes. Get him a shield because everyone needs a shield. Don't think he needs anything more here. Because I think his the reflex package is good. You know what? We'll put on the response package. Because why not? And do we have any better gloves for him? Probably the infiltrator gloves, if anything. Yeah, we'll go with the infiltrator gloves on him. Again, just keep increasing that dexterity bonus. So we know we have a couple of things we can turn into Fossa here. What up, Fossa? You're interrupting me for a reason? I have a lot of work to do, to manage here, right? Yeah, you're clearly doing it. So, you let these murder droids on here. What is it? Ah, uh, can you help me transport a family to Telos? Do you have any need for pilots? Ah, uh, never mind, I'll be going now. Well, do you have any need for pilots now that Goto is out of the picture? Kind of? Now that freighters can depart safely, I can use a good pilot. Good, I know of someone. The name... The refugee Otis will work for you for sponsorship. He's not asking for much. If I find one, I'll let you know. 
The refugee Otis will work for you. He needs a sponsor, though. Fast, I can do this. Good. Good. Whatever I you are. Send someone for him. Go on, now get. I got a lot of experience for that. And we got one more for that nice family. You interrupting me for a reason? I have Yeah, I know. You're managing. I know. You keep telling here. me this every right. time we talk. So, what is it? All right. Can you transport a family to Telos? What? Do I look like a passenger ship to you? Is that a rhetorical right, question? All right. You help me. I help you. Cool. That Here's her name. She's in the refugee quad. Fine. I do for you. But don't ask of Fasa again. What else? Nothing else. Don't ask of Aswat Dick Whistle again. So while we get those icky light side points, we did just get 2,000 experience points, which is good. And since we are over this way, we'll go and talk to Voga then. Just kind of turn in that we quote-unquote killed Goto. And we should be all set to go on that one. Get a little bit more money. Ah, Voga. How you doing, you slug? I don't have Goto here, but rest assured, he will trouble you no longer. What can I say? It was a piece of cake. He really didn't stand a chance once I set my sights on him. Good, I would hope you'd open to trades with Telosians. Yes, pay me for my services now, and I will relay this message to Telos. Good, I'll gladly leave. I'm not getting too fond of looking at you. You stare into my soul, and it's haunting. So 500 credits and... 1,500 experience points. Not bad. So I'm going to head my way back then to the Pazak Den. Sounds like a great and bumping place to be. So we'll head our way there. Because I've been doing some looking into the Pazak Den just to see how it works and how to get to what they call the champ. And it sounds like you have to play and beat everybody in there three times. And Atten is, Atten is a... Why did I call him Atten? That was weird. Atten, we know, is an avid Pazak player. So, naturally, we're going to want to show him what for and have him get a crack at it as well. So, we'll go on through. Oh, great. Some more droids. Well, this will be fun. Hey, guys. What's going on? I didn't just kill three more of you. No, not anything like that. Let us proceed to facilitate communications. Yeah, communicate Recitation my force storm to your neural processors and the backside of the canister, whichever is your behind. And just, just look pretty. Do what you do, buddy. Failing master. Failing master. Well, I didn't take any damage from that whatsoever. Care to explain why we have that psychotic Wookiee with us? Um... Uh, apparently we're talking about this now because Hanhar is loyal and any of the loyal ally, understand? Kray thinks he'll prove useful. I believe her. We can always use that animal to draw more blaster fire because I needed one more slave. Don't question me, Atten. We can always use that animal to draw more blaster fire. He is kind of big. All right, but this won't end well. Trust me. Oh, I believe you. How about I give Pazak Republic Senate rules? I had some questions for you. Nothing. Never mind. I didn't want to talk to Atten, but that's Look, a... I, I've heard about the Force. What, what are you talking about? Why do I keep it? talking to you? I just want to pick the stuff up off the ground. And everything you do, and in your face. Thanks. I'm in control more than ever. If you fear the face of power, then I have no use for you. Keep your concerns to yourself. I had some questions. I'm in control more than ever. Don't worry about me, man. That's what you think. Trust me, there's a reason you're changing. It's because it's corrupting you. I'm I can't fine. I can feel it. All of us can. Whatever that witch is doing to you, she's dragging you down into whatever hole she crawled out of. Yeah, I know. She's a little bit of a witch. She has no influence over me. She is my creature, not the other way around. Are you implying I cannot control her? How about a game of Pazak? Are, are you implying I can't control her? Because I really can't, but are you implying that? Well, you're starting to get creases. You could pass for the old witch's son. Hey, that's not very nice. I just want to pick up these remains. 
Yeah, I know the dark side is kind of taking me. It's clearly obvious, and that door is open. All right, so where's the entertainment promenade? Looks like it is straight over in the opposite direction of which I'm looking. Nope, I was right the first time. So that over here looks to be where we need to go. So we'll head there and play some Pazak because that sounds like fun. See if Atten will kind of lighten up around us. Because apparently the dark side seems to be scaring him. He can't handle the power of the dark side. So, what the hell are you guys? What do you want? <laughs> Um, yeah, can I help you with something? And if I am, you should keep to your own affairs. And if I am, what's it to you? Okay, can I pass along a message? Why don't you just go in for yourself and see him? I don't have time for this. Why don't you just go in and see him? Gee, I wonder why. Can I pass along a message? I don't have time for this. Whatever, man. And what the hell is this thing? I want to talk to it. What's up? Credits, huh? Uh, what could you possibly have to sell me? Can you tell me about the area? What could you possibly have to sell me? What are you talking about? Things that can't be seen. Okay. How do I know this is worth it? This sounds too good to be true. You know what, little rat thing? What can you tell me about this? I'll, I'll bite. What can you tell me? Alright, do you know the password then to get to the Pazak Den? Yeah, I want the password. That's why I asked if you knew. Yes, I want. I probably could have guessed that. Okay. You know what? That was kind of worth it for 10 credits. Let's let's go on in. Start playing some Pazak. That's why we're here. Hold out. Get me in. Yeah, thank you. Let me in. Cool. And the door shuts in my face. Fantastic. So this is the Pazak Den. What the heck? There's a droid in here. Why are you here? Oh, hello. You have caught me at a late Hi. time. How Usually so? There are many players who seek to play. But you are fortunate to have caught me at a moment of quiet. So you're the best one in here, huh? So why so many players are why are so many players wanting to play with you? I fear it is because I am simply not a skilled Pazak player. I'm afraid protocol droid skills and language interpretation are not something that lend themselves to Pazak and probability. Ah, so you're an easy win. So if you're ready to play Pazak, so am I. Finally, we beat him. That took way too long, as you could tell by the amount of credits that I lost. Hey, you got some... I should have just fed him to his friends. Whatever, I'm leaving. We've beaten everyone in here. Oh. Who are we waiting for? Who the heck are you? <laughs> I've won a few matches, yeah. Who are you? Compared to you, my boot is big stuff. Compared to you, my boot is big stuff. That's what I meant. I've won a few matches, yes. 
Oh, you're running your mouth, huh? So what up, dude? The champ. Play Pazak. Who are you again? You know what? Let's play. You know what? I'll take a 500 credit wager here. You know what? Since I've actually been on a bit of a losing streak, we'll do 100. Okay, apparently. You know what? We'll do 460, because why not? Apparently, because I can't type in everything. So we'll play. Let's see how this goes. That was a big card. That was a very big card. Yeah, eat it, champ. That's one match for us. Okay. I think he's got some big cards coming up here. Okay. I'm going to stand on this. I don't understand how he wins that. Either way, draw, drew out most of his hand. That was incredibly lucky. Let's do this again. All right, we're going to play this one more time. Because that first one was really, really close. I don't understand how that second one he ended up winning. All right, that's one set for me. I actually hate my entire hand here. So we're going to drop that and end the turn. Kind of glad I did that. That's all right. I could deal with it. That is several really bad cards all in a row. And it won't let me play one. That sucks so much to have that many low-level cards in a row. Alright, last game here. Boom. There we go. I win, champ. Yeah, I I win. No, I'm going to be going now. I'm 1-1. One, one. Yeah, so I made 40 credits off of that. So let me see. Active quest. You managed to defeat the champ. The top-rated players in the Pazakdan is successfully drawing the champ out of retirement. Is there anything more I can learn from him? Uh, apparently I'd have to play him again, and I don't I don't really want to do that. Maybe we'll come back and uh, play him a little bit later. So, Goretti won't talk to us, so we don't have to worry about these guys. Yeah, shut up. I'm leaving. All right. See what this guy has to say. What up? What do you got? Any more information? Nah, I'll be going. I'm not paying anything more. So, we also have... The final piece of the puzzle in order to reactivate HK-47. And we're going to go ahead and do that. While we also need... We probably should have swung into the cantina and grabbed the Juma juice from the, the bartender that's there. But I got so excited thinking about HK-47 that I just went and did it. So we'll, we'll go and reactivate HK-47. We'll come on back and then we'll get the Juma juice and we'll get into... Uh, Voga's treasure trove. Might as well get these guys out of the way. Finally make it back to the Hawk. It's been a little while since we've been on here. Ship's quarters have grown quite a bit. Looks like Behoter's uh, remote is checking out Goto. Sizing him up, so to say. Just runs away later. It would be helpful if I made some changes to my remote's maintenance laser to do spot repairs. That would be a welcome improvement. My combat effectiveness could be better sustained, providing an advantageous arrangement. And Makes no sense that these two would be getting along. Would finally be able to pull his weight in a fight. Hey, the remote can certainly pull his weight in a fight. No problem. 
Don't worry, Goto's just jealous that you've got all that circuitry packed into a small shell. Just look on the bright side. Goto's a much bigger target. Just be happy we have room for two floating spheres around here. Hey, look on the bright side. Goto's a much bigger target. I don't know if he's laughing at me or he's yelling and swearing right, at me. Then. I'll work on it when we get back to the Hawk. Beodur, we're on the Hawk now. There. You should be able to do some quick fixes. You won't be able to perform serious repairs, but you should be able to patch up any broken droids. That's a success sound if I've ever heard one. Beodur's remote has been upgraded with the ability to repair other droids in the party. Be nice to take... Uh, him with T3 or HK47 or even Goto. You know, I think it's time I gave your cutting laser a little boost. It works fine for repairs, but we could use your help in a firefight. Yes, we could. Don't worry about it. We'll make sure they keep you out of their scopes. Exactly. They're going to target me to who's to shooting of, lightning right? at them. Think of it this way. You can keep Goto in line with it. I'm pretty sure that's him laughing. All right, so Bader's remote has been outfitted with an improved laser. Nice. Iridonian, if I might have a moment. Of course, what him and Goto get along. I have spent some time in the presence of your remote, and the upgrades you have performed on him are quite adequate. I am impressed with your work. Hey, give the remote some I find some slack. Of resources, energy spent on frivolous things to be an unsightly waste. You're new here, you don't get to say anything. Skill, however slight in the upgrading of machines, I want you to provide me with similar upgrades. I should be able to do I'm going to insult what you what make and then ask moment. you to do the same thing to me. All right, so looks like everyone there is getting along, but Here's what we're here for. Damaged HK unit. Looks like the remains of an HK unit, but an older and more corroded one that you encountered on Paragus. This power core still carries a charge. And we have our last component. And there's a low hum from within the droid and the sound of circuits sparking, restoring power throughout the droid systems. Diagnostic. HK-47 activated. Running checks through primary systems. Success. Assessment. It appears I have suffered considerable damage and dismemberment. I can feel all the cracks in my motivators. Yeah, I'll get over my it. My central control cluster seems to have taken several repeated blaster shots at close range. How crude. Apparently effective, though. Why were you in our storage hold? Any idea what happened to you? You look like you look a lot like the series of droids that have attacked me. Are you okay? Why were you in our storage hold? Answer. I do not know, Master. It is curious that I was here, although this place does seem familiar. Oh, I'm sure it does. What'd you say? Perhaps someone was already in the process of rebuilding me. It may be I was needed for some task. Some myrtilating. Are you okay? Any idea what happened to you? You look like you look a lot like the series of droids that have attacked me. Are you okay? Answer. If by okay, you mean the loss of almost all my existing assassination protocols, then no, I am not okay. Furthermore, I seem to have no discretionary control over my vocabulator, causing me to You're, you're rightfully my upset, I can understand that. Droid of unrivaled sophistication. I can understand that. Any idea what happened to you? Answer. It seems you would know more than I. My memory centers are experiencing some setbacks. Reflection. Of course, for some reason, that does not alarm me. I suspect I have suffered such repeated memory failures before. So Still, this is just nothing new. He's like, oh, okay, we're doing this again. Protocols is shameful and degrading. Uh, so you're an assassin droid, huh? Recitation. Yes, as I said. I am an assassin droid. It is my primary function to burn holes through meat bags that you wish removed from the galaxy. Master. So that's oh, all of them. I hate that term. What? Meat bag? Well, get used to it. Not sure I like the idea of having an assassin droid on board. Are you ready to serve me, droid? 
Uh, what, meat bag? You don't like meat bag? Answer. No, master. Uh, I said it again. Get used to it. Well, I'm not sure I like the idea. Are you ready to serve? Well, get used to it. I'm going to be your master from now on. Answer. Yes, master. All right. Are you ready to serve then? Answer. We want yes, him to kill master. everything. HK-47 is ready to serve. Wonderful. He's joined our party. His few remaining assassination protocols allow him to do more damage to opponents with blasters and rifles. Okay, well, that seems like then they've taken him away from any sort of melee weapons that he might have had in the first one. And with this lovely hunk of metal reactivated, I think I'm going to end the episode here. Pazak is going to be the death of me. Eventually, I'll go back and we'll, we'll play the champ. But right now, I think I'm just a little upset. I'm going to going to hang up my Pizak cards for the time being and hope for some better luck next time. As always, though, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to let me know by hitting the like button down below or leaving a comment. It really does help me out. And if you're new to the channel or have not done so already, unleash your power by hitting the subscribe button down below today as well and ringing that bell for notifications as to when new videos are uploaded. And I will see all you heroes in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. May the force be with you and have a great rest of your day. Take care.